Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Duke Silver. Today we're going to be playing Fortuna. Uh, Fortuna's hero power, for those that don't know, you get a free level 6 character on level 4 and once you hit level 6. So uh, yeah, it's kind of a kind of a, a gamble type hero. Um, sort of similar to uh, to Fisher King, but less to less uh, less powerful, I would say. But uh, but still, it's fun to uh, to spin the wheel sometimes. Um, we start off with uh, we're unable to flip our uh, our talking frog here, unfortunately. Although we took it uh, took it kind of aggressively on turn one, just uh, kind of expecting to see uh, a a spell that we could uh, that we could flip it with. But unfortunately, we don't get there, so we take some damage early here with our lack of stats. We took a uh, uh, board farm boy here, which is not uh, not a unit most people take uh, early, but uh, I think like it actually does give you provide like a decent amount of stats early. Um, the fact that it gives two things plus two plus one is actually like it's like when you compare it to other stats of, uh, of level two characters, like it's uh, it's it's like a reasonable amount amount of stats, but you do need it need it to die. Um, and if you have like if you can put it put it in the front with like a, a lane in the back line, then uh, that can be pretty uh, pretty potent on the first couple turns, anyways. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think it's, it's, it's slightly, it's, it's just barely beyond the line of playable, so. Something that I haven't really, uh, really picked up too often, but I'm, uh, I'm trying to, uh, experiment with more anyways. Alright, we get a tie here after taking some damage early. So, uh, I mean, taking the, taking a 12-12 for 3 gold on, uh, on 3.0 will do that for you. Uh, we did switch out our lane for a chameleon here. Basically, we're hoping the uh, the board farm boy stats go onto the chameleon to get the slay. We're gonna take a couple more farmers here. We're gonna take a uh, a plowman anyways, as well as a dachshund to put some stats on that plowman, and then having the uh, the shield uh, shield page there, um, providing some extra toughness to the plowman was hopefully gonna get some uh, some stats. Uh, we did get our chameleon slay. Turns into a BLT, so uh, not a bad hit here. Never, uh, never a bad time for uh, for a BLT. Um, it looks like we're gonna get to pick up a second Dachshund here. This is gonna add more stats to our farmers. We do have a couple, so we're very happy to uh, to throw food stats onto them. Um, the positioning's a little bit awkward uh, at this point. Uh, we're gonna, I think we're gonna sell our goose and get this triple uh, before the uh, the buzzer rings here for the turn. We aren't able to to get our our other unit into into play, but uh, but I think getting that triple and not locking going into four is uh, is probably the right play. All right, and we get to see our our level three treasures. Uh, we're gonna take the baby mimic. I think baby mimic just uh, clearly the best treasure out of the bunch there. And we get a shadow lord as our level six character, so um, we're kind of uh, incentivized to take stealth characters already. And I mean, I'm sure you saw the thumbnail. Uh, we, it's 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 a very easy route into uh, into stealth, getting uh, getting a shadow lord at this point. I mean, like a dark twig would be uh, would be an even better uh, sort of entry point, just because like you're getting you're getting those stats over time. Although like the stats, uh, they kind of start off start off a bit small. So, um, but yeah, shadow, I mean, shadow lord just has like really really good base stats to start. So it's it's def definitely definitely a better tempo to uh, get than like a twig, but. And also with these uh, with these ranged uh, crabs, then uh, they're going to be able to pretty much kill anything that they attack into. So they're they're, they're even more um, more of a two for one than they normally are. Usually they're pretty good for a two for one, um, at least on 4.0. But things uh, stats do start to ramp up pretty quickly. So so they do kind of they do kind of fall off relatively fast. I find, especially with the uh, the slight stat nerf that they got in this last patch. And yeah, I guess we're uh, we're basically testing to see if uh, to see if stealth is still uh, still still as good as it was. Um, it did get a slight nerf in this patch. Like uh, Dark Twig only gives eighty percent of the uh, of the stealth counter to uh, to your other other your other characters that have stealth, and then Shadow Lord only gives seventy percent attack instead of plus one hundred percent attack for your characters attacking with stealth. So again, very slight nerfs. I have I haven't seen stealth um, running around as much, but uh, but I still I suspect that stealth is still uh, still very very powerful when you uh, when you get into it. All right, we could take this triple for the muddy ocean crab, but honestly, I was thinking like there's not too many fours that I really want, and I also kind of want the two instances of stealth because like if we if we if we combine them, then it's only uh, one. One stealth tick every turn, and uh, I mean we're we're kind of planning to get a to get a twig on six, 
Um, and also we're going to take a lose the fight, win the war here, and uh, play a couple units down and hope to lose the fight. But unfortunately, or fortunately, we get too good of combat RNG, and uh, our VLT does scam their, uh, their, their Radiant Fairy there, and we end up with a tie, even playing down. This uh, Muddy Ocean Crab really wants to be tripled, but, uh, but we're just going to keep refusing. Um, but we're not going to refuse this one. Uh, this is this is enough of a, a bone or a stat upgrade that uh, I'm pretty happy to take this, even if we're going to end up skipping it. But we find a weird compass, and I'm very, very happy to take a, a mimicked weird compass. That's going to let us see two extra characters per shop, so that's going to be absolutely fantastic with Stell. Positioning's a little bit awkward here with uh, having to play the uh, the husky in a certain spot. Just means that I mean having having ocean crab has in slot seven is just a little bit weird. But uh, it ends up being just uh, just fine anyhow. We probably should have put the uh, ocean crab in in five and the shadow lord in seven honestly, because then we guaranteed get the uh, the shadow lord bonus on the uh, on the ocean crab attack. Uh, we're going to take the uh, Dachshund triple here, and we're going to take Jack's Magic Bean. We've got a pair of fives here that could uh, that could potentially show us uh, a level six treasure with uh, with drum roll, which would be fantastic. And we're going to take the Future Vision on five point one, and uh, we get rewarded with another Shadow Lord. I think this is the first time I've ever gotten the same six um, from both my level four and six unit on Fortuna. And uh, and yeah, the fact that we've we've been playing into Slay this whole time it makes this uh, an excellent pickup. Uh, we do lose the fight immediately after that, but we get gifted a, uh, a twig immediately here. And uh, now with the uh, with the mimicked uh, with the mimicked compass, we're gonna hopefully be able to see uh, see more twigs fast. And also we get to, we get the uh, Shadow Lord triple thanks to that free pair. Um, we just find the first one, and uh, we get to pop our magic bean for a level seven treasure. And we're just gonna take Fairy Tail. We're not gonna be able to get um, drum roll or like uh, other, any other treasures, but. Um, any, any twigs we do find are going to be upgraded, and that's just going to add uh, add just huge chunks of power to our board. Speaking of uh, upgraded twigs, there's the first one. And we're, of course, going to take the, the classic Fire Mage here. And yeah, I mean, we're just uh, we're just on the hunt for twigs at this point. Like, we're uh, relatively low at 14, so... Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't see us losing uh, too many combats, but uh, but we are still uh, sort of like approaching the danger zone. So there's there's a world that we could uh, we could whiff on twigs and somebody could outscale us, but uh, other than that, I'm feeling feeling pretty good about our spot. We're gonna change heroes. Fortuna's hero power is all used up, so let's uh, let's switch over to Artemis. Uh, Artemis is just gonna give this uh, fire mage range, just uh, make it uh, make give it make it even more uh, valuable, I guess. Basically, we're not gonna have to, we're not gonna have to trade with whatever we attack into, essentially. And hey, we find another twig, so that's two upgraded and a regular twig. And with all the, I mean, because we've been playing state stealth this whole game, obviously the twigs are already already start with like a bunch of stats, and now we're uh, we're of course getting seven a turn on each of them. And uh, yeah, we are we're making short work of our opponents here. And hey, look at that! Another uh, another twig. So three upgraded, one regular. I mean, I think we want to we want it, we need to keep the the mat and uh, probably a shadow lord. So the only improvement we can really make is uh, to switch, uh, or we could get an entrance rune, um, or uh, or we can switch out this regular twig with uh, with an upgraded twig. That's pretty much uh, pretty much all we can do at this point. So it's just uh. Just a doom roll, just a doom roll comp at this point. Just fill in time. <laughs> All right, here we get. Uh, yeah, well, looks like uh, they're, they're attempting a, a Cat Stars build. It looks like they never they never found Oberon though. But uh, I mean, Cat Stars gets countered pretty hard by uh, by Fire Mage. Their stars uh, do a fair a bit of damage there, but uh, not nearly enough. As we again make very short work of that opponent, and uh, and yeah, we win very very easily with Stealth. Well, I mean, I shouldn't say very easily. We took some damage early in the game, but like once we uh, once we got the the things together. Although like the combination of fairy tale and uh, and weird compass, like you can you can kind of uh, kind of assemble whatever comp you want and uh, and get very very powerful very very fast. So the fairy tale is very very strong, and of course, weird compass is very good. Um, and yeah, I think that just showcases the the sort of the power of those treasures, and also it showcases the power of Fortuna when you just hit. <laughs> 
like uh we did get pretty fortunate with our uh with our fortuna hits and then also getting the twig immediately on six so things really did just fall into place for us and uh and then we get an easy victory uh because of it uh but yeah let me know if you enjoyed that uh, i haven't done a stealth video in a while so i figured i should do one for the new patch um yeah, you can see the the, the 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 nerfs barely touched it. Um, I think I mean I still think maybe the fire mage uh, interaction is a bit of a problem with the shadow lord. Um, that's that's something I'm not a huge fan of. Like you have to play if, if you see someone playing stealth, you have to have to have a chair. And uh, I don't know, it just just feels kind of bad. Although chair is better now, chair works uh, works better to uh, to stop uh, stop fire mages. So so there is that. Anyways, as I said, uh, let me know if you enjoyed this. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I would very, very much appreciate that. Um, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow.